G'day, I'm Sean and these are the new operator accessories for the Alexa 35 including our new quick release tripod mounting system which we're calling Touchdown and it's a very satisfying way to attach your camera rapidly to a tripod. Let's get into the details. All right, so first things first, things look a little different around here. We're trying something new with the studio and I hope you like it. The operator set. Well, this set of accessories is the third set of accessories that we've built for the Alexa 35. We have the production set for typical studio production. We have the lightweight set, which is for super lightweight applications. And the operator set is designed for people who need to do a lot of handheld operation on the shoulder. You might think that there are some things here that are kind of familiar to how an Amira works, and you'd be right. In fact, one of the main reasons that we developed this system is that we have NFL Films as a fantastic customer and partner who moved from 16mm film to Amira's in 2014 and are now starting to transition to Alexa 35s. And they requested a set of accessories which would kind of retain the familiar single shooter style ergonomics of the Amira, but for the Alexa 35. The other big deal for us is that we've pushed heavily into the multicam and broadcast and live entertainment markets with the Alexa 35 Live, which is now just starting to ship. And these accessories also play heavily into that system. So we have a new top handle, this lovely walnut grip here, which slides back and forth, along with a dedicated lightweight top plate. And then we also have the touchdown base plate under here, which has a very long shoulder pad, and it has the new touchdown mechanism, which works with our touchdown receiver plate, which is a really sturdy way to mount the camera quickly to a tripod. Obviously, there are other systems out there, including the VCT system, which we have supported in the past. But when we knew that we were going to really focus on this style of shooting with this camera, well, we wanted to do something a little better. VCT is great. It's especially great if you have a lighter camera, but it's been around for many, many decades. And to be honest, the tolerances just really aren't there amongst all those different competing you know, parts at the moment. So you'll often find a bit of wobble. I can guarantee you that the touchdown system is extremely sturdy and stable, and I think it's going to be a big hit. So I'm about to get into all the detail for each of the individual components. And remember that you can always jump ahead. Just look at the chapters in the scroll bar down below. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's start at the top and quite literally because this is the top operator plate or the TOP1 and it's designed to fit the form factor of the camera as closely as possible so that it's really kind of meant to look like one piece with the camera body and you would mount this with the five screws here and then just leave it attached to your camera the whole time. We have 15mm uh, rod clamps at the front so that you can run a map box upside down if you like because it's optically centered with the lens, same distance as if we were running 15mm rods on the base plate. Also could be very useful for lens motors. On the top, we have several accessory mounting holes. So we have 3.8 at the front, which would be really good for a top mic holder. And we have two more 3.8 inch holes at the back with pin lock, of course, and they are in exactly the same position as you would find those two holes if you were using the operator accessories, which means that accessories such as the articulated mounting plate, well, they'll work in exactly the same position, which is nice because you can then have this little articulated swinging plate, really good for mounting video transmitters or microphone senders, that kind of stuff. Now we also have a quarter inch hole here and we have several pairs of M4 holes as well and on the side which means that you can mount rod mounting brackets or a whole bunch of other accessories that we make. Now obviously the main purpose of the top one is to accept the top handle and this is the top operator grip. It slides into the top one like so, basically the same kind of system as you would have with an Amira and we have a huge amount of balance potential here and then we have a lever on the side. So you'll see that there is a lovely responsibly sourced walnut grip and that's good for a couple of reasons. First, it's very comfortable. It's also comfortable because it's quite thick. We've got a large diameter here, so it fits very nicely under my hand. It's also a request from people like NFL Films because if you're shooting outdoors and it's cold, well, a metal hand grip will also get cold whereas wood is much more uh, temperature neutral. Across the top, obviously we have heaps of accessory mounting holes as well, 3 8 inch pin lock, we also have quarter inch pin lock and spaced M4 holes so you can mount rod brackets and whatever you like. Front and back we also have 3 8 so that you can run handle extensions if you like. At the very front, 
of the TOG1. We have this little release here, which will loosen the viewfinder. Now, mounting system, this is just the 90 mm crossbar. We've had this system for a long time. It's basically identical to the one you'll find on the Amira. So that means that the viewfinder will drop straight in and you can use viewfinder extension brackets if you like. You have side to side adjustment as well as up and down and you can adjust the distance of the viewfinder from your face with in relation to the camera obviously with the top handle mechanism itself. All right, let's look at the bottom. Base plates, well, this is the touchdown base plate, the TBP-1. And as you can see, there is a massive shoulder pad here. This is about twice as long as we would find on, say, a compact bridge plate, and that's by design. It's so that when you have the camera on your shoulder, you can find balance by just sliding the whole camera package backwards and forwards. We don't necessarily have that deep scallop that you would find in other shoulder pads, which kind of only want you to have them in one position on your shoulder. And that was by request of people like it, NFL Films, because 16mm cameras like the SR2 and 3, well, they also have a similar style of long shoulder pad. Now, at the front of the TBP, we have 15mm rod consoles, which means that I can use rods and then my standard uh, lens support or map box, whatever you like. Hand grips on the sides for rosettes, for mounting hand grips, sorry, rosettes on the side for hand grips. And then inside here, you'll see that there are these two little lugs. And that, in combination with this stainless steel shoe at the back, that's what interfaces with the touchdown receiver plate. So let's talk about that for a sec. Here we have the touch section and the down section, as it says on the instructions. So I'm gonna take the touchdown base plate. These little lugs will line up at the front and then I just push down into the down section. I then am in like a safety stage, so this can't be separated, but I need to close this lever to kind of bring the whole plate into tension and to make sure that it's super solid. To release, you need to push the lever on the side forwards and then you can bring the whole thing out like so. Again, I'm back in the safety position. I can't release the base plate until I pull the lever backwards, lift up, it's sprung uh, loaded, and then I can pull this out. So very simply, I touch and down and lock off. And then on the inverse, you pull the lever back so it's uh, releasing the spring and then you can come out. Now. One thing I have to say about this plate that's quite different to the VCT system is that you can adjust the amount of tension. And that's obviously by design because we want this plate to last for years, if not decades. It's meant to be super robust. We have stainless steel and any part which would develop wear over time. For example, inside the rosettes, the back and these two sections here. And then because we can adjust the tension, well, if there is any wear that develops over many years, then you can adjust it to make sure that the plate is as stable and sturdy as day one when you bought it. So if we put this in and close the lever. Now I can show you this screw at the back. And this screw has quite a thick slot and I actually like this quite a lot because it was designed so that you could use a coin or a key if you have to in the field when you don't necessarily have access to a screwdriver because you left it in the truck. So there is the screw at the back which adjusts the tension of the plate and you might be able to hear there's some little indents. So there's indents and a little ball bearing so that you can find the place that you have done it up to before. Um, but also that will just stop the screw from undoing by itself over time and loosening. Now to set the tension correctly for this system, all I do is that you lock it off, make sure that the safety lever is closed. And then I can just do it up until you start feeling a bit of tension. You don't want to over tighten it by any, by any means. If you do it up too tight, you probably won't be able to get the base plate into the receiver plate the next time you try, but tight enough is good enough. So now that's all set. How do I get this onto the camera? Well, the TBP1 has the same bud dovetail interface as all of the other base plates for the Alexa 35. So it will slot straight in and then this sliding mechanism, well, that's what gives me a huge amount of balance potential here uh, in order to get the right balance on my shoulder. There's a little blue release lever if you need to take the base plate off, but otherwise just find a nice position and lock it off at the side. 
I would then mount my TRP to a tripod and you can see that there are all these stainless steel cam locks in here and which are basically upgraded versions of helicoils and we've designed the spacing here to be a little bit different from our other plates but in order to make sure that we are compatible with as many snap plates as possible. Obviously both of the standard touch and go uh, distances will work but really heaps and heaps of different plates will work with this system. One other little thing that I'd like to mention before I connect these two is that on the bottom of the TBP you'll notice that this is actually quite stable because we have uh, rounded off the round part of the rosette. So we have these little rubber pads here on a flat section at the bottom of the rosette and at the back so that it will be nice and stable on a table or the floor or however you're shooting. And now I can put this like so and then please give me a minute while I build the rest of the camera. So here I have my fully built camera and I can just pop it onto my shoulder by releasing the touchdown plate like that. And now of course I've already adjusted the viewfinder with the top operator grip and I could stand like this all day, it's super comfortable. So all of these accessories are available individually and of course you can also purchase them in the Alexa 35 operator set. And also you might like to know that the base plate, so the whole touchdown system, well that will also work with an Alexa Mini or an Alexa Mini LF as long as you have the Bud 3 on those cameras. If you have any other questions or you'd just like to leave a comment, well please do so down below, we like reading those. And until next time, happy shooting, see you later.